right story around marriage um, masks the way that I think we want to characterize what marriage is, which is a system that punishes and rewards, right? Um, and so it rewards people that participate in it, but it's not just like you don't get those rewards, you're punished when you don't. And I think we have to think of things like lack of access to healthcare, for example, as a punishment. You're punished um, when you when you don't participate in the institution. The common talking point for the marriage equality campaign is that there's over a thousand benefits to marriage. That's actually something that feminists have tried to undo, right? To dismantle marriage, to say that nothing about your survival should depend on um, entering this conservative coercive institution. And conservatives have tried to sort of prop marriage up, make marriage the center, make all benefits go through the family, um, defund poverty alleviation and disability and programs for old people and say, deal with that in your family, right? Um, and feminists have said, no, like, um, you know, women's unpaid labor inside marriage is awful. Marriage is a site of enormous violence against women and children. Um, marriage is a space of um, gendered social control and uh, it's something that we should dismantle if we want to build human liberation. People can say they're going to do it differently and have different egalitarian marriages, but you know you have a discriminatory system that the state has imposed, and it is a structural problem. So you know people might say, "Well, I don't do my marriage that way," and th that's an individualist sort of read on it. It's not about necessarily condemning individuals, but to actually look at marriage as a structural form of inequality that is discriminatory and actually punishes people who don't fall in line with it. People's personal attachments to marriage have been used as a way to sideline critique, you know? So there's this kind of individualized, exceptionalized thing that happens when somebody gets married where we're supposed to see it only as a personal choice with personal meaning that's different for every person. But that's always life inside institutions, right? We always have personal experiences of them and it's always a little different for everybody. Um, and we have our own sort of systems of meaning that, um, that we translate that experience of uh, being a part of an institution through, um, but for some reason marriage has become a one that uh, that story means we're supposed to kind of keep our hands off, you know, um, whereas I think in most of the political conversations I'm in, there's some sense of like how do we think about the ways that we're mired in these institutions and accountable to the harm that those institutions do, but for some reason marriage, the harm that it does is never fully brought into the dismissals of the critiques.